Did you know that the Google Pixel Pro 6 and Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra share a similar chipset? Technically, they do. That might explain their neck-to-neck -neck capabilities and performance drive. Although, for the first time, Samsung might have won the war of cameras against Google. All this and more are coming up in Pixel 6 Pro versus S22 Ultra. Here is everything you need to know before buying. To begin, the Galaxy S22 Ultra adopts the previously defunct flat top and curved edge design of the Galaxy Note series. Everyone looking for one more addition to the series could be excited about this prospect. However, this is a Pixel 6 Pro versus Galaxy S22 Ultra comparison so we need to see how it matches up to the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Interestingly, the new Pixel took the design and shape of last year's Galaxy S21 Ultra. It is squared off and has slightly curved tops. In fact, the only difference is that the camera guard wraps around the back of the Pixel, whereas the Samsung S22 Ultra has made its design simpler and more relatable. For instance, this year the camera lens is fitted at the back of the phone with no supporting guard like in previous editions. When testing it out, one might find that the guardless camera makes it difficult for the phone to sit flat. Additionally, Samsung's usual Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and back has been adopted by the Pixel 6 Pro. Although both phones are capable of withstanding being submerged in up to 1.5 meters of water, the pair are equally matched in performance, sharing different versions of the same chip. Want to find out how they compare? We have that and more coming up shortly. Moreover, Despite the Galaxy S22 Ultra and Pixel 6 Pro having a curved edge display, there is a slight difference. In the Pixel 6 Pro, the curve is harsh and visible, so one cannot miss it, while on the S22 Ultra, it is subtly curved. Further, the Pixel 6 Pro has a better resolution than the S22 Ultra. Google's Pixel 6 Pro comes at 3120 by 1440 pixels, while the S22 Ultra is 3088 by 1440 pixels. Therefore, once again, Google phones have very slightly sharper images. Although we are speaking of display, Samsung has kept its foot on the industry's neck with its extras that translate into an overall better display. For example, Galaxy S22 Ultra has a maximum brightness of 1750 nits. We can confidently say that the Pixel 6 Pro does not even come close, as it peaks at 500 nits. Again, with the S22 Ultra versus Pixel 6 Pro War still on, we can highlight Samsung's color management with an RGB rendering of 130% compared to Pixel 6 Pro's 104%. Therefore, the 137% RGB rendering offers the red, green, and blue variations more intense in brightness and color accuracy. So sharper images for Pixel, but color accuracy and cleanliness go to S22 Ultra. Lastly, on display, both phones have the same 120Hz, which is the ultimate refresh rate. However, when at rest and needing to reserve power, the S22 Ultra can drop down to a 1Hz refresh rate, while the Pixel 6 Pro's minimum is 10Hz. While we are here, subscribe to the channel for all the latest in the world of electronics. Further, both smartphones share similar performance capabilities due to the similarities in their chips. So the Galaxy S22 Ultra uses the famous Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in the US. This chip has become more famous than most smartphones due to its capabilities. On the other hand, Pixel 6 Pro uses the Tensor chip, also created by Samsung. Notwithstanding, these two share a similarity. Not the Tensor and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, but the different ways these phones use them. So. The Tensor chip is a version of the Exynos chip belonging to Samsung. They have the same properties and do about the same thing. Funnily enough, Samsung uses the Exynos chip in all of its S22 Ultras that are sold to other places outside the US. Therefore, those outside the US are using phones that practically run on the same chip, whether it is a Pixel 6 Pro or an S22 Ultra. The only difference might be the fingerprint sensor. Samsung uses a sensor that one could describe as instantaneous. What do you think the one second difference should cost a user? Well, we might be looking at a $300 difference in price for almost the same product and performance. We will share more and let you know if the price makes sense on these phones shortly. Meanwhile, we all know that a smartphone is as good as its camera. 
So, let us judge the cameras that these companies are selling to us. Samsung was consistently on top of the camera game before many competitors, including Google, came and gave them a rough time. Google's Pixel series has superior cameras with a high megapixels and low light. However, the S22 Ultra has increased focal length and a higher megapixel count on its main camera this time. As such, more color and color depth is captured with the S22 Ultra. The difference in camera for these two phones is preference. Do you want a flatter, realistic style? Or are you big on saturation and contrast? The former favors Pixel 6 Pro, and the latter means we are shopping at Samsung. Regarding night photography, Samsung is slightly ahead with its crisp images that have absolutely no exposure problems. Do not worry about battery life. They are both criticized for having an absurdly short lifespan. And since we do not reward bad behavior, no one gets a cookie for that. Now feels like the best time to mention that the Pixel 6 Pro starts at $899, while the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra starts at $1,199, with the S Pen included. And you know how we love that Samsung Pen. Aside from the pen, the S22 Ultra beat its competitor in today's show-off in every category. However, the victory does not feel like it should cost $300. So, the decision is yours to make. Choose wisely. If you missed it, we tested and gave a full review of the outstanding Vivo 5G connected device. Check out interesting Vivo V23e 5G. Full test review and features.